Welcome back guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of My Brother Rabbit for the Nintendo Switch. My Brother Rabbit is developed and published by Artifacts Mundi, a Polish mobile game developer. It starts with a boy and his sister playing happily, then all of a sudden the sister falls ill. While her parents set out to get her the treatment she needs, her determined older brother turns to the power of imagination to help them cope. While the outside world offers a harsh reality, these innocent children create a surreal fantasy world that gives them the play and comfort they need. The story is told via cutscenes of still images like a storybook. It works well, especially accompanied by the fantastic score. Initially I thought that I would have control of the main character, but instead I was surprised that all I could interact with was the environment. It is a point and click adventure with mixes of hidden object mechanics and environmental puzzles to progress the story to the next location. Now I enjoy point and click adventure games such as Broken Sword and The Secret of Monkey Island, but I've never been a massive fan of hidden object games or mobile games in general. Uh, still though, to my surprise, I actually enjoyed uh, that part of the game the most and some were pretty challenging, uh, mainly because most of the objects are hidden in multiple screens and within environmental puzzles. Unfortunately, there are no touch controls implemented into this port of the game, uh, which was a bit weird and a shame seeing it is on mobile phones. Uh, in some puzzles, the controls were a little bit fiddly when trying to line things up, but they did account for that and gave you a little bit of leeway. The puzzles varied in difficulty, uh, but overall they weren't too challenging. There were a couple that stumped me for a bit. Some hidden objects were camouflaged very well with the environment. Unfortunately, there is no hint system implemented into the game, which could be very handy. I was taken back at how beautiful the hand-drawn environments were, from the art style to the vibrant colours, every frame was breathtaking. I wasn't surprised when researching this game that there is an art book that can be purchased separately. Melancholic tunes fit the imaginative world that you play through perfectly. Environmental sounds were stunning, especially when wearing headphones. The sound of the water and the elements was breathtaking, and I would find myself sitting there for periods just listening to all the different sounds. I did however find that sometimes the music would not loop properly and there would be a period of time before it kicked back in. The game took me about 4 hours to complete which for the price of the game is um, pretty reasonable. I got it on sale for $2.50 in the Nintendo eShop. I'm not too sure, prices may vary on the different systems. I do not think I would have liked it to go any longer, it felt like an excellent little package. Now, I went into this game not knowing much about it, and I was completely surprised by how relaxed and invested the game made me feel for the world and the story. I looked forward to completing each puzzle and progressing the story to see what would happen to the siblings. As I said, I'm not a huge fan of hidden object games, but the way they implemented it made it stand out against other games in that genre, and it's definitely piqued my interest to see what other games Artifacts Mundi have produced. It had a well-told story with characters that I started to care about, even though there was no dialogue and it was all told via pictures. The mixture of the beautiful surreal artwork and the fantastic music made it all come together. I highly recommend this game if you are a fan of point and click or hidden object games. If not, you might be surprised at this fantastic little package. My final rating is an 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching this review. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.